Let's be very clear here. Sunderland Ryan has given Kolkata a chance of winning this league. This is the same Kolkata that for the first half of this league basically didn't enter the competition. This is the last knock. My dad refuses to tell me what this means. And coincidentally or not, Sun on Ryan did not actually start this year. And I made a video at the start of this year about his career and suggested that perhaps he'd been dropped looking at past performances and, and people involved in his camp were quick to get in touch and say, no, no, he's just injured. But when you looked at his numbers, you could see that it almost felt like Kolkata would just keep him around because he was Sun on Ryan. That's, you know, a reason, I suppose. But based on his recent numbers, just he didn't look that player anymore. He averaged 60 with the ball last year at an economy rate of almost eight. Now, now averaging 60, you know, it's a little bit higher than what you'd want, but he's not always been a wicket taker for a long time. The economy rate of eight, though, that was the really challenging part of it because that's not who he is. Oh, and he averaged 13 runs with a bat, and that was... Um, with half of his runs coming in one innings. As I said, there is another video I've made about his very, very fascinating journey and how he got here. And it really is, he really is just a weird cricketer. He's had so many different careers already. He started off as being the world's most unplayable T20 bowler. Then he was a high quality bowler who could slog sixes in the death. Then he was a defensive specialist bowler who became a permanent pitch hitting opening batter. And it seems now he's gone through another transformation. A son on the right is just constantly changing who he is as a cricketer, what he does, how he fits in. I don't think we've ever seen a player who kind of gets T20 cricket more than him, other than perhaps his friend, Karim Pollard. I kind of feel like they all just hang out together in Trinidad and just come up with ways to, you know, fuck up everyone else's T20 careers. I have said this before, but I will say it again. This is a man who taught himself to run in a bowl with essentially his hand up his ass. And I talked about all those different things he's been. Well, he's a different player again this year than he was in all those other ones I mentioned. And that's the thing with Sunil Narayan. He just finds a way all the time. Every now and again, I go, oh, he's been called for chucking. They, you know, that might be, no. They've worked him out when it comes to opening and batting. And then he just pops up somewhere else. He's just continually evolving to make himself an always incredible T20 player. So let's look at this year, the year that he didn't start the start of the season. Whether it was injury or whether it was form or whatever it was, he wasn't in Kolkata's team to start this season. But he has been a lot better this year than he was the previous season. From the moment that Kolkata realized that maybe Chakravarti's main strength wasn't bowling all of his overs in the power plate, him and Narayan combined, who and they're very similar bowlers in many ways, have just both, they've both got the most out of each other. Because essentially, if you've got Narayan at one end or Chakravarti at the other end, you're going to be better. And they just sort of strangle teams and eventually wickets come. And that's probably what Narayan has needed. Someone as good as him at the other end. He no longer takes wickets with dream balls anymore. Now he has to work batters out and it takes time. He needs that pressure to be built at the other end. He can't have a part-timer there or someone who's not quite up to it. He'll go for a low economy, but they won't take the wickets. Him and Chakravarti together, one of them is bound to take wickets. And that's essentially what happened today. Technically, Shakib and Chakravarti actually slowed the game down a little. When Narayan came on, Bangalore was 66 for one. The slowdown had already happened, but the wickets hadn't really come. And then Narayan took the wicket of Bharat. And then Narayan took the second breakthrough. And then he took the third, and the fourth, and the fifth. And the thing is, he doesn't take bags of wickets like this anymore. He's not a four wicket in an innings guy, and he hasn't been for, well, basically almost since the era before he was called for throwing. These days, when he takes wickets, it's one or two, and they usually go for about 22 runs. This is a huge bag by his modern standards. But it's not just the size of the bag in this case. It's more specifically the quality of the items in the bag. Virat Kohli, ABDVs, Glenn Maxwell. I mean, we haven't seen such a safe, profitable marketplace collapse like this since the US housing market. To take one of these guys is helpful for your team. To pick up all three of them just feels like showboating a little bit. If that was all Narayan did in this game, I still think that would be an incredible game to have. I mean, you know, some people would be happy to take those three guys in a lifetime, let alone, you know, a night. But then there was the batting. And it, it's really important to note this, that so far this season, Sun on Narayan's batting had been negative. I don't know how you make negative runs, but he somehow managed to do it. We've had a few bad seasons. Dan Christian's batting, Owen Morgan's, MS Donies. There's some, been some guys who have really struggled. Because Sun on Narayan might have been the worst out of all of them. He had managed 34 runs in 11 matches. And at no stage did he look like a pinch hitter or a batter or an all-rounder or even a guy could hold a bat at certain stages. I mean, you would think he would have made more runs than that even accidentally. And we talk, and I've been talking about the transformation of Sun on Orion and how he's a little bit different all the time. And I talk about the transformation of Sun on Orion. Think about this. Kolkata were pretty much happy with him being a defensive bowler. That was his role. He was going to bowl defensively in the middle overs when he bowled. 
and with the bat, he would come in and target spinners in those middle overs. It kind of makes sense. It plays to both of his strengths. This is what is so wonderful about Narayan because, of course, he didn't bowl defensively today. He saw there was something in the pitch and he went for wickets. And then when he came out to bat, he actually faced the seam bowler first, not the spin. And he's facing Dan Christian, who's probably played in more knockout T20 games than any other human alive. And first ball, he hit Dan Christian for six. And second ball, he hit Dan Christian for six. And third ball, he hit Dan Christian for six. Googlies, quarter seamer, Karen, Dukes, back of the hand, red, leg cutters, Tisra, pink, knuckle, white, slider, seed, heavy, bounces, cherry, length, pill, off cutters, old, crimson traveler, kookaburra, hard, outswing, second new, off spin, arm, SG, split finger, shiny, leg spin, soft, new, yorkers, flippers, Wrongens, long hops, reverse swing, half volley, and third new. These are just some of the names we use for balls in cricket. Well, Manscaped wants you to be as proud of your balls as you are of the ones delivered by your favorite cricketer. Manscaped just launched their fourth generation trimmer, the Lawn Mower 4.0. Join over 2 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer 20% off and free worldwide shipping. Insert the code REDINCA at manscaped.com. I've actually used this, um, not just something that I'm hawking for fun, and I got to admit, I thought it was a bit silly, and then I went down there, and it was exceptional. I honestly feel I could bowl outswing with one nut and inswing with the other. So get 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code REDINCA at manscaped.com. Manscaped, for the man who cares about his balls as much as the ones out in the middle. Now, obviously there were wides in that, but I'm disregarding the wides in the middle because it doesn't look as pretty or sound as good. Oh, and the last six was one-handed. I don't know if that's an evolution or just, you know, sweaty gloves from the three previous balls he'd faced. When Narayan came in, they needed 60 from 54 balls. And after he ruined Dan Christian's career in this league, they needed 38 from 48 balls. That's an impact. That's a turnaround. And those 60 from 54, they was, was going to be touchy. In fact, we know how nervy it was going to be because even after Narayan completely cut a big chunk out of that chase, Kolkata almost didn't make it anyway. And that's the impact of Sun on the Rhine in this game. He pretty much set the game up with the ball, came back out and set it up with the bat, and Kolkata still almost lost. It's got to be one of the great high-pressure performances of any player ever. And yet he's had so many great performances himself, I don't even know how high it would be in his overall rankings. I mean, he's just played a lot of games where he's been ridiculous. This was different ridiculous, but equally just brilliant. This was his 12th game of the year. In the previous 11 games, he only had 10 wickets. And he took and he took three of the highest profile T20 players in, you know, the history of the sport. And then he came in and he hit three sixes in three balls. And at that stage, he'd scored sixes in three balls, which at that stage was 34% of his runs scored this season. From an intellectual point of view, Sonal Narayan is one of the most fascinating modern day cricketers. Someone who just wouldn't have existed in another era who needed the freelance market, who needed the capitalism of T20 to evolve and change and twist and turn and come up with new methods and be caught out by technology and then use technology to help himself and move around the order and you know run in with a stupid run up and all these different things. He's just one of the most fascinating cricketers that we've ever had. But if you're a fan and you're just sitting down to watch this game, there's another thing that he is. Sun on Orion is just sometimes fun as fuck. Thank you.